Hi, I'm Amy Valpone, the Faraday's have asked me to jump on here, introduce myself, uh, share a little bit about my story of healing myself from 12 years of chronic illness in hopes that I inspire some of you during this time of the coronavirus or anyone in your life that is struggling. So I want to start out with recognizing something that I'm grateful for in this time uh, that we're all facing worldwide, and that is number one, uh, the friendship that I have with uh, Mike and Alex for the last 15 years and Carrie shortly afterwards uh, being three of my best buddies who have introduced me to a whole other realm of uh, dimension of friendship. And so my hope is that through sharing what I'm about to share with you, helping regulate your nervous system, understanding trauma, and really diving a little bit deeper into how I can hopefully support you during this time. So I'm going to start with three different layers. So throughout my journey, which took 12 very long years of healing my mind and my body uh, from chronic illness, it really all came down to focusing on three layers of the body, which I share with anyone uh, to just keep them healthy, whether you're going through a health issue or not, um, whether you have anxiety or you're dealing with some kind of symptoms, whatever it may be in your physical body, pain. And so what I'm going to be sharing is a little tip for each of you on the layers of physical, emotional, energetic health, um, which have helped me um, and my audience uh, and readers. So we're going to start with the physical layer, which is clean eating, anti-inflammatory food, all of this really focuses on eating whole one ingredient foods, especially during this time with the coronavirus, because we need to keep our immune systems super healthy. So in my first book, Eating Clean, and throughout my work, I really focus on whole one ingredient anti-inflammatory foods, like what's in an apple? An apple. What's in a walnut, a walnut, right? What's in an avocado, an avocado. So really focusing on clean, whole, one ingredient anti-inflammatory foods, which is a huge piece of really helping your immune system and helping your body as well as your digestion during this time because the more inflammatory foods that we eat, especially in a stressful time like this, the more the body has to work harder to really digest those foods that are not natural and whole. So the other piece of physical, I would have to say, is definitely sleep, um, getting in line with your circadian rhythm, trying to get to bed before 11 p.m. and getting up around 6 or 7 a.m. so that you are on a cycle, especially for ladies, keeping your hormones balanced, especially in a time like this where cortisol and adrenaline are really, you know, rock skyrocketing throughout all of us um, because if we're living in such a time of uncertainty. So those are two pieces for physical I'm going to have you really focus on and obviously movement. Uh, any kind of movement, movement that you can do throughout your home. So the next layer is emotional. So what I did not realize throughout my entire journey was that trauma was a huge piece of what knocked me down uh, with chronic illness in the first place because I didn't even identify anything that I had been through uh, as trauma. And so trauma and regulating the nervous system is a huge piece of really getting people back uh, into their body, um, out of the minds with anxiety and overwhelm, and really helping them get back into the body and feel safe. Because at the end of the day, any of us with anxiety and overwhelm and everything that's going on in the world right now, all of us are really dealing, or the majority of us are really dealing with this state of fight or flight and survival mode. Now, I know this state very well. I lived there for uh, the entire 12 years of what I was going through with my health and I have slowly been able to pull my body out of survival mode, um, which is very scary because the nervous system is used to going 100 miles an hour for most of us, keeping our lives busy, nonstop go, 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 technology, not getting the sleep that we need, not eating the foods that we're supposed to be eating uh, that are nourishing for the body. And so all of this and mental, all the stress that we've got going on, all of this adds to the fight or flight uh, mechanism in our body, which is really just there for us for actual danger and threats like getting chased by a tiger, right? But this fight or flight mechanism is now for anything from emails to, um, you know, a look that you get from your boss to whatever it may be. So I really want to just give you a quick tip to help you get out of that fight or flight um, 
survival mode that has really helped me. It's taken me many years to get out of survival mode, but I'm hoping just with what's going on in the world right now, this is something that can just help you get back into the body and relax your entire system. So something with survival mode is that we don't feel safe. So if you have anxiety, like I said, overwhelm, what I really would suggest is grounding back into the body, right? Orienting to your surroundings. It's going to be a huge piece to help regulate your nervous system. Now, your nervous system is in charge of pretty much everything in your body, and that's why it's a big piece of the healing missing puzzle. Now, what I want you to do is when you're sitting down or you're dealing with anxiety, standing up, whatever it may be, is orient your body to your surroundings so your body can start to feel safe. Because you can stand up and look in the mirror all day long and tell yourself, I'm safe, I'm safe, I'm safe, when you have anxiety, and consciously that's not going to work, right? It's the subconscious mind that's running the system. And so I want you to really get back into the body so that your body can start to train itself to know that it's safe. So the best way to do that is, I usually do it sitting down, but you can do it even standing up at the food store when you're out getting your groceries with your mask on, is really feeling your feet on the floor, right? Feeling your back against the seat, feeling your butt against the seat, Be paying attention and noticing your breathing, right? All of these different things, looking at things in your surroundings, like put your attention on a lamp, put your attention on a picture on the wall. And if you can do all these things and put your attention on all these things simultaneously at the same time, super helpful for your nervous system to start to calm. So just to reiterate, sitting down, feeling your feet on the floor, while you're feeling your butt on the chair, while you're feeling your back on the chair, while you're noticing something in your surroundings, maybe it's outside or a picture on the wall, while you're noticing your breathing. So all of this is gonna help regulate your nervous system so that it feels safe as to where it is in space. So that's a huge tip. Uh, and then the last layer is energetic. So any of you who are highly sensitive people or empaths who take on emotions and energy from anything from the news to the newspapers to social media or to other people, um, I am one of those people. So I have to really protect my energy. And I highly suggest really, again, tapping back into the body, creating boundaries, starting to remove yourself from social media and the news and get your uh, news from a family member, which is what I do, because it's just too much trauma uh, for my nervous system to really watch any of this. And it just sits in my system. So really being mindful and finding people that you can trust that can give you the right information so that your nervous system doesn't have to go up into fight or flight every time you turn on the news or every time you look on social media. So I hope those three layers were helpful for you. I hope everybody is staying safe and any questions about any of this, I'm happy to answer. Just head over to my feed. We'll put my handle down below at Amy Valpone and I'm here to help anybody that I can. So you can just send me a private message and I'll get back to you. All right, everybody stay safe and I hope that you all have a great day. Bye.